Glad y'all made it back in time <laughs> for another episode of... Hey, Mom, look, the boys are back in town. So today's episode, we are going to be putting the new oil pan on the 5EZ. Went ahead and ordered one from Yoda Shop. They offer a complete new kit for just about 300 bucks plus some shipping, which is great for me. That way we don't have to worry about the steering, rearranging the steering at all, and we don't have to worry about anything in the oil pan hitting. So let's go ahead and get that opened. I just don't know why our spaces are all this nasty. Jeez. Ah, <laughs> look at that, nice and clean. Big old boxes today. Now, y'all know my favorite pastime, the confetti. Wee, 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 wee. Ooh, carefully, careful wheeze. So, we have our new dipstick. We have our new pickup oil tube. And we have our new lines. Ooh, and of course we got some stickers. Those are definitely going on the wall. And probably... Probably on that black back glass. So we're gonna need to get that all on and taken care of. So let's get this thing up in the air. All right, now that it's up in the air, we can see what we're doing. We're gonna be undoing all the 10 millimeter bolts that run along the oil pan. Well, now that we got the oil pan off, you can see we're gonna have to take the guard off, drop the oil pan pickup tube. Once we got those two out of there, we are also going to have to make some adjustments to the dipstick tube. As you can see, this is a front mount. So it goes right in the front, goes right behind the radiator tube in the bottom. This one is actually going to go back right here in the middle of, of the uh, 5BC. And we're gonna squeeze you back in here, but down right through there. So it's gonna come out and around, but we're gonna have to relocate that as well. So let's go ahead and get this stuff off. After five quick bolts, we were able to get that off. You can see the crankshaft right up in there. You can also see our pickup right there where we had to modify the gasket a little bit to get the bolts to fit over, but I'm gonna be placing this back up in there with the new pickup hose. So, their pickup pump. So it'll go somewhere kind of right up in there and pick up in the back. So let's go ahead and get that back on. As you can see, we got everything bolted up and we got the pickup tube nice and secure. And they actually sent me a new gasket for the pickup tube. So I went ahead and threw that on. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw the oil pan back on. Alrighty, we're not going too quick on that oil pan because as I discovered, that has to come out. Now I've heard people use heat, but I'm not going to. That kind of freaks me out. I don't want to expand it too much and mess it up when I have to put the dipstick tube in there and it leaks. So <clears throat> kind of giving it a little twisty twisty. Also trying to put a fourth inch, uh, not socket, but extension in there. Trying to hammer it out, no such luck. So we're gonna keep beating on it, trying to get it popped out and then we can put the pan on. So we're gonna pop that out. Well, it is the next day. I finally got that thing out. I think it's like right up in there. Yeah, there it is. Right up in here, holy moly. That was, that was tough. I'm not gonna lie, but it's out. Now, they gave us a cap, so we're gonna cap 
this side off, put our new tube into there, and then put our dipstick tube running along up to the top here. So let's get this capped and get that tube in. So here we have our cap. That's just gonna go right over there. And I'm actually gonna hammer that in with a, most likely something that fits over the diameter of it and then slowly tap it in so that way it's nice and even in there. Let's get it tapped. Well now that we got that motor mount out of the way and the oil filter, you can see more properly what's going on here. Now with that out of the way, I'm actually gonna put a little piece of wood right over this not to mess up the metal. It looks pretty flush. As you can tell because it goes in at an angle and we're gonna knock it on in there with that all knocked in we're gonna put back on the oil filter and the engine mounts and run the tube all the way to the top and we'll bolt it in right up there we have the dipstick tube on as you can see it runs through our motor mount plugs in down in there I actually couldn't get that cap on, believe it or not. I couldn't get it seated in there properly. So I think I'm just gonna go with the old one. Just gonna knock that one in and we will put on that oil pan. Well, there we have an oil pan, nice and seated. And the most important part is in. Don't forget that oil, oil plug. That'll really get you. So we're gonna go ahead and set it on in there. Bye -bye. I lied, okay? We're not using the factory one. We actually used a plug that we had at the shop with some Teflon tape around it and we turned it until we could not turn it. So that way we have a plug in there. And we don't have to worry about hammering in the old one. If it leaks, it leaks. And if it leaks a little bit, we can just RTV it. That's how this project is going. But now we're ready to put it in. Now that we have this motor all put back together, we're gonna have to work on motor mounts. That's where we found out that's our issue is. It's not actually the front. What I ordered from Yoda Shop was a 5VZ solid axle swap kit for the oil pan to clear a solid axle. Now this is an IFS suspension in the 91 Toyota pickup. So, our front pickup tube will work just fine as long as we get the motor mounts in properly. So that's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Big thank you to Yoda Shop for getting us some stickers and getting us the parts that we need for this build. And thank you guys for checking in and coming to view our channel. We really appreciate it. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and like. And we hope that you come back and check us out. Big thank you to Yoda Shop. So we're going to get y'all right here on our door, door stickers. Y'all have a good week.
Thank you.